Let's see what's on TV. Are you doing your part to maintain social distancing but miss going to the gym? Are you tired of all your fall and winter gains just slipping away? Yeah. Are you ready to feel the burn? Yeah. Then don't change the channel because I've got five lower body exercises that you can do right in your own home with household items. Yeah, I'm down. Well, let's do it then. Today, we're gonna go over five lower body exercises to help you gain speed, strength, and stability. We're gonna go over squats, single leg squats, calf raises, wall sits, and feet towel curls. I don't know, I'm not really in the best of shape right now. Don't doubt yourself. These exercises are perfect for beginners and intermediate athletes. All right, so when do we get started? Right now. Wait, can you hear me? Duh, this is a live class. Okay, let's get started with some squats. These are gonna help you develop some major muscle groups, like your quads, your hamstrings, your hips, your glutes, and even your core. Here's how. You're gonna begin with your feet about hip width apart, your toes pointed slightly out at a 45 degree angle. The first thing you're gonna do is shoot those hips straight back. Be mindful that your chest and your shoulders stay nice and proud. Also keep track of your knees. You want them to be tracking just in line with your toes. We don't want those knees to cave in because that can cause some unnecessary knee pain. So the goal is to get your hips below parallel or at least below your knees. From the bottom of your squat, you're gonna drive through your heels, you're gonna raise those hips back up, and when you get to the top, you're gonna squeeze those glutes and stand nice and tall. Thanks for the tips. I really like how doing squats can increase my stability by strengthening my core and hips. I heard that using a backpack with various weights is a good way to increase the difficulty at home. That's a great idea. A good place to start is to begin adding squats to your routine at least once or twice a week. You can do three sets of 10 with one to two minutes of rest in between. Then, as you start to build your strength and feel more comfortable, you can add in additional sets and additional reps. Once you get comfortable with squats, you can start adding in single leg squats to your routine. Here's how. This time, you're gonna start with your feet about shoulder width apart. Again, with those toes pointed out at about a 45 degree angle. We're gonna start with our left leg. So go ahead and lift up your right leg to about a 45 degree angle. We also want our arms completely outstretched straight in front of us just to offset some of the weight that's going to be used while we're squatting. So again, shoot those hips straight back. We're aiming to get those hips below parallel or below the knee. Once you get to the bottom of that squat, same thing. You've got to drive through the heel in your left leg to bring yourself back up and squeeze those glutes at the top. During a one-legged squat, you want to make sure that the opposite leg that you're not on, so in this case, our right leg, is touching the ground. Balance is a huge thing here and is super important. So this is definitely a little bit more advanced than a regular air squat, but again, it's something that you can work up to, which is exciting. Just like our regular squats, you can start to add these into your routine about once a week. Start with three to five sets of 10 reps with anywhere between one to two minutes of rest in between. As you get stronger, you can add more reps and you can add more sets. Oof. That was a tough one for me, but I'm gonna keep working at it to get better. All right, now let's fire up those neglected calf muscles with some calf raises. This time, you're gonna start with your feet about shoulder width apart again, and you're gonna be standing in an upright position with your hands by your side. We're gonna start off by contracting our calves, our hamstrings, and our glutes by raising up onto our toes by pressing our heels as high as we can. From there, lower yourself in a controlled manner. I like these. I know you can make them a bit more challenging by doing them on a step, platform, or block. All right, now let's add in some leg burning wall sits. These are gonna help develop your hamstrings, glutes, quads, and your core. You're gonna start out with your feet about shoulder width apart, and you're literally gonna sit on the wall. So your back should be in contact with it as well as your hips. Slide on down until your hips are about parallel to where your knees are. You wanna create a 90 degree angle with your legs. So from here, you're just gonna hold it. 
from anywhere to 20 to 60 seconds. Now, the key here is to let to rest only 30 seconds in between, but each time you do a new set, try to add at least five to 10 seconds. So this is something that you definitely wanna build up. And the next time that you try your wall sets, see that you could do anywhere to 10 seconds to 15 seconds more. You know, you can increase the difficulty of this exercise by holding a heavy object out in front of you. I'm using a laundry basket. This can help engage your core and upper body. Hmm. It looks like you know a thing or two about at-home fitness. Let's finish off for the day with our last exercise. It's called a feet towel curl. You're gonna start off by sitting down with your feet right in front of you. Get a towel, place it right in front of your toes. While keeping your heel down, you're gonna to try to grip the towel with your toes and bring it closer to your body. This is great to help work those muscles in the feet that are often overlooked. It's gonna help you build that strength in your arch and in your toes and overall just in your foot period, which is great for running and walking. This is great. I never even thought to try and work out the muscles in my feet. No problem. Let's meet up next week so that I can show you some upper body exercises that you can do at home.